All right, right now we're going to show you how to make a screencast. I mean, we're doing a screencast medic. I mean, we're going to make a histogram. So the first thing you want to do, and in this case, we have different sizes of our cubes. We're going to highlight all of them, uh, all of the sizes. So I'm going to click on the top one. I'm going to hold the shift button and the last one. That'll select all of them. And then I'm going to go to our graph. We can insert a chart here, or we can go insert chart there. So I'm just going to do that. And then mine automatically pops up because it's guessing that's what I want to do. If it doesn't pop up, you can go to charts and go to this last one right here where it does. If you just hover over it, it'll say um, histogram. All right. This data right here, it says uh, sheet one, and it tells us what numbers I've highlighted. That's correct. And it's going to turn out to look something like this. So I'm going to simply hit insert. And I can move this off to the side so I can see all my numbers. And I want to just give it a couple good titles. I want to um, click on the chart title and call this. All right, frequency of cube sizes. And then I just hit enter to. I'm showing you guys how to do it real quick. Which what? Oh, we can watch the video after we're done. Just a sec. So I'll just hit enter to to get that on there. This little count thing, I'm going to right click and uh, just clear that. The horizontal axis explains the um, sizes of the cubes using inches. And the vertical axis tells us um, the how many cubes or the number of cubes cubes we have. Um, there should be a total of 27 different blue squares on here. Okay, the last thing I want you guys to do to turn this in is to uh, copy and paste it. So that's pretty simple. You guys hit this. There's this down arrow on the top right. If you click that down arrow, you can go to copy chart. Kind of takes a picture of just that chart. And then you're going to go to your question of the day and paste it by hitting control V give it a few seconds and there it is and you can of course change the size of it um, hopefully you're looking at your bell curve all right that's how you make a histogram using google um, google spreadsheets